And the green tunic Dardonian lines up his shot. Gets prepared to throw. And he throws it five meters. A pitiful exhibition of the Ordonian. Hey, Link never said he was good at shot put. What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. HD. Last time, we got started on the Snow Peak Ruins. I think that's what it is. Yes, actually. Even though it's a manor, not exactly ruins. We're being helped out by the Yeti and his wife in order to get the mirror of Twilight that they have in their bedroom. They've kind of had their own problems with it and they are more than happy to let us have it. So they're helping us out as best as they can. In this episode, since we've managed to Let's actually get this down here. Since we managed to get into this room, we can actually utilize these giant cannonballs that are scattered throughout the area. Now, we're going to want to utilize them, so that way we can actually use the cannon in this room. There we go. So now we simply take this, and we can actually use it with this cannon. Unfortunately, the snow, the snow is kind of deep. Okay. So, we insert this here. That is the way that we need to go, but let's actually aim this the other way first. That way is kind of useless. Yeah, right through here. Take a bomb, put it in, and three, two, one. I kind of misjudged that countdown and it went on one. You get a mini chest. Mini chest has more bombs. Yay. Oh well, whatever. It does use up, well, it does it, what am I trying to say? It's, it's one of the chests in the dungeon that we need to actually get so that way we make sure that we don't forget anything important. That's what I wanted to say. In a not so eloquent manner. However, we have those giant ice breathing monsters that keep freezing us if we get too close. So, take a bomb, put it in here, and three, two, one. It dies. Unfortunately, it spawns more of these guys. But whatever. Those are just things that we're gonna have to deal with. Put it away. And hiya! Draw best way to deal with them, because then we don't have to deal with their ricochet effect. But we can head on through here. And in this room. Ah, uh, well. The way ahead leads to where the Yeti's wife believed that the key is. Suits of armor over here. Well, let's just try to get through the door. We have to deal with a mini boss, an iron knuckle. Though, rather than using a sword, it. Ow! It uses a ball and chain. Very much linked to the past S. Um. That is not what I want to do at all. Yeah, how did that actually work? Okay, I do not remember exactly how to fight this thing. Not gonna lie. Now, thankfully, there are places for us to claw shot. Ow. I'm trying to 
remember how exactly you deal with this thing. Oh, 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 okay. I see what I see what we need to do. I see what we need to do. Okay, we get over here. We need to make sure. Ow! We need to get behind it. Um, um. Okay. Ah! Okay, this is not working in the slightest. I thought we got behind it and we actually, like... Take the stupid thing from behind. I do not remember how to fight this stupid thing. Ow! Crap. This way I'm gonna use up my fairy. Um... Have that just in case. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Yeah. I honestly don't remember how to fight this stupid thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I really really don't remember how you fight this stupid thing. Um um Yeah. At the very least, I'm getting the hang of going underneath him, but I'm waiting for him to throw the damn thing. All he's doing is just putting it around him. He's not actually throwing the ball and chain. Or the ball, actually. That's what I'm waiting for him to do. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, having my shield out does nothing. Thing. Down. Okay, well, there's my fairy. Don't oh, come off it. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Slice it in the back while it's vulnerable. Trying to get it on the ah. Okay, it's vulnerable, it's vulnerable. There we go. That was annoying as hell. Yeesh. Yeah, the sword techniques that I was trying to utilize, not exactly the most helpful. Shield bashing does nothing because you can't get close enough to it to do a helm splitter. Mortal draw does nothing because putting your sword away is pretty much detriment to suicide. You can't roll across it because trying to jump immediately gets you hit. So yeah, pretty annoying. But we can actually take this. And thus we get our new item, the ball and chain. So the ball and chain is a very powerful weapon. It pretty much hinders our movement. But we can swing it up and let it fly. So it deals a very massive amount of damage, but has a massive wind-up. But we can finally get on through. We actually... <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, it's like... Let's get rid of you. I am not dealing with any more of these stupid... Ooh. It's like, I'm not dealing with any more suits of armor. I'm not dealing with their crap anymore. But we got 100 rupees from it. And a chest. Just has... A... Or Don Goat Cheese. Aw, oh, food again? 
Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. Oh, well, let's go back and hope she had some other brilliant idea. Sounds like a plan. But before we do that... That worked out surprisingly well. Let's just smash these suits of armor. The hell did I hit? Okay. Um, maybe it was the table. This thing does have a lot of destructible things that you can destroy with it. Most of them not really that helpful, but hey, they're there. There are things you can destroy and things you can do. But at any rate, we've, we're out of options. And I just walk right through the cannonball. And unfortunately, the stupid ice wolves keep respawning. And unfortunately, we had to use not only our little potion, but also our fairy. So let's hope we can actually recover that. Thankfully, I didn't have to use my great fairy's tears or my rare chew jelly. That would have been bad. What happened, huh? What? Cheese? Uh, did husband move it? Uh, where in the world did we put it? Sorry, I need thinking time, huh? Take cheese to husband, huh? You do that. I try to remember. Alright. It's as good a plan as any, I suppose. I mean, heck, it's their house! Also... Go ahead and do that, and talk to the Yeti again. Hello, Yeti man! Ugh. Needs more punch. Ugh. Uh. What? Good smell. What you have, huh? Ow. Mmm, perfect ingredient. Ah. Little more time on fire. It become gourmet soup. Ah. Here, taste, huh? Alright, well, may as well. I mean, we're kind of hurting. A lot. And now we get the superb soup! Smells quite cheesy. But now this replenishes eight hearts, so it's essentially as good as any red potion. So let's go ahead and take two bottles now, because now we have a spare bottle. I'm so getting rid of one as soon as we get a chance to get a fairy, though. Alright, so now that we've got a better soup... Let's see if the Yeti's wife has remembered anything more. I think I remember, huh? We put key in nearby rooms, so no forgetting, huh? Look how well that turned out. How I forget. Embarrassing, huh? See? Here. Place marked by symbol, huh? Okay, it's on the second floor. A little bit of a distance. It there. It must be, huh? You look for me. You know, something I didn't actually point out is the fact that these paintings... Well, we've seen in the first room there were, like, paintings of the Zora Queen. But, I mean, there's a lot of paintings of Hyrule Castle. And there's even one of the Arbiter's Grounds right here. So, kind of an interesting manner. But we progress ever onward. And we enter a room where we need more cannonballs. Thankfully, though, I mean, there's ice things here, but with the ball and chain, we can just smash them. Yeah. All right, let's get over here, aim it at him. And it takes a couple hits to get rid of him. But overall, not really too much of a threat. There's also a way to load up cannonballs in here. And this room actually takes us back to the big room with all these cannonballs. So it's actually really nice. We could go up that ladder, but I don't really see that as being really helpful. So, 
I will go ahead, take this cannonball, <laughs> run into the lever instead of grabbing onto it, load up the cannonball, not put it in the right place, come on, Link. Go across to the other room, and now we can actually bring the cannonball in here. <laughs> Damn it, Link, grab onto the stupid thing. There we go. We don't exactly have a great use for this thing right now, but you know what? It's in this room. So if we need it, then we just need to just come back down and we can grab it. Um, okay, that's a little bit of ways off. How far is he? Okay, he's going back, 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 he's going back. He's going back. And hit him. Crap. Got him. Ooh, barely. Kind of, kind of close. All right. Throw that out. Stupid keys. And we get us another cannon to use. Also, uh, ow. Interesting claw shot spot. But actually, that is an interesting claw shot spot. I wonder why this would be here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Huh. It leads to a secret compartment. Go down here, and we have a chest. Just as a piece of art. We need to find more of these. Unfortunately, we we're at full health, but eh, whatever. Okay, so. We can't exactly get over there, but thanks to the claw shot thing. Damn it. Get back up here. And let's see. So there is the cannon over there, but there's also this room. With a chest. Let's see, what is... Oh, great. Uh, let's see, if I can get the ball of chain out. Pretty sure the ball of chain. Yeah, the ball of chain one shots the javelin guys. So it's actually incredibly helpful. Get rid of that, and that gives us a shortcut back. And you're wondering, well, how exactly are we supposed to reach that chest over there? I mean, we can target the chandelier, but what good does that do? My friend, welcome to the physics of inertia. So we hit that across, and we can build up speed on this. Yeah. Link, Link, Link! Okay, somehow that worked. I, I don't know how that worked, but it did. So we use the ball and chain in order to reach the up to propel the chandeliers. And by doing that, we get ourselves a small key. And since we got the shortcut... Man, I'm... I'm apparently really bad at the claw shot. I am really bad at the claw shot, apparently. Eee. Yeah. Let's maybe not jump down that room. There's a bottomless pit down in that room. And I would like to not go down to the bottomless pit. So we got us a key that we can use to access the room over there. But what about this cannon? Well, that's where the cannonball comes in handy. I will go grab that. More javelin guys, yay. Thankfully though, I don't believe they can reach us. Get us a shortcut back here. And actually, eh. This actually takes us back to the opening room. Okay. Um. Let's maybe try. Damn it all. I went with the combo. Why did I not go for com Actually, where did he go? Where'd the javelin guy go? Okay, I'm not gonna complain. I will, however, take out these keys before they cause me any trouble. All right. 
So now we gotta use the ball and chain to move these chandeliers so we can get on top of them. There's also a chest over there. So we're gonna wanna try to get across to this chest. All right, I'm going to hope that I got that time decently well, crap! Damn it. You know, nor normally we'd be kind of boned and have to traverse our way back. Thankfully, I had the foresight to do that. <sighs> Stupid javelin guy. Um, okay. So, get the bombs, get the combo, blow them up. I apparently need... What? Would someone care to explain to me what the hell just happened right there? Because that made zero sense whatsoever. Okay, well, whatever. Take two. We can get this chest, we can call it a day. Uh, what the? Is that what I think? No, that's, that's not. I thought, is that a gold chew jelly? Well, in fact, let's check. If it's sparkly, then it's a gold chew jelly. Doesn't seem sparkly, it's not. So this is just a normal yellow chew. Oh. Well, whatever. Let's try to get that chest. Okay, so as we were going back, now we can actually time that in order to get on this chandelier, get to the chest, and we claim a surprise. Hooray, the other piece of art. That's a pretty nice prize, if I do say so myself. Crap. Oh well, whatever. It's actually easier that we do that, because now we can get across over here and very quickly make our way back to where we were, assuming I can claw shot. There we go. However, that will do it for us here. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. HD. We're gonna progress ever further through the Snow Peak Ruins. We are, well, starting to run low on places to explore. There's a, a Uku is apparently nearby, but we haven't been able to actually reach her. So there are still a good amount of rooms left that we have yet to traverse. So we'll probably grab Uku at some point. And with any luck, we may actually be able to finish the dungeon. But who knows. Until next time, everyone. Take care. Okay, that really should not have worked.